state's tax and revenue department is under fire after allegations from the state auditor. He says his office has spent the past five months looking into that department. News 13's Candace Hopkins has what they found, and then you'll hear the governor's very different take on all of this. State Auditor Tim Keller says the investigation has uncovered preferential treatment for at least one business. The state auditor's office says they received countless tips through their fraud hotline. One sparked an investigation into employees within the tax and revenue department that they gave at least one business preferential tax treatment. These kinds of things are common uh, from folks who are disgruntled and things like that. But uh, once we got an official uh, documented situation where this occurred, and then culminating with audio tapes, uh, we knew we had to take this very seriously right away. Keller says they received hours of audio tapes involving discussions of wrongdoing going back to 2014. He says they implicate both governor-appointed officials and lower employees, but would not go into specifics. Lots of folks, before they come into government, they might have their own uh, business on the side. And in this situation, um, their, the tax treatment is tied to former clients of senior officials at TRD. An independent and, uh, firm was brought in to do the investigation. But at this point, Keller would not release the name of the business or the employees at Tax and Rev at the center of the investigation. They're senior officials mm -hmm. at the Tax and Revenue Department. And so uh, by definition, that's going to include uh, folks at the top and, uh, and around the top of the organization. Keller says it all adds up to potential criminal and ethical violations. His office handed the case to the Attorney General's office to review for potential criminal charges. Candace Hopkins, KRQE News 13. We contacted the governor's office for its response to this investigation. They lashed out at the auditor, saying in a statement that Tim Keller, quote, has a track record as a politician of making salacious statements that later turn out to be false.